So I am standing here in a garden with Derek of Alpha Sense, and um, Derek, you know, we're, we're talking about ways to trap specific insects today, and I, I see that there's a red tint up here. Yes. What is this one for and what does it do? This is a, a trap, it's called Delta Trap. It's a delta each shape, I can remove it. And it's for codly moth and it can actually catch more pests of apples and pears. And it has, again, sticky insert in it. With and the there's one right there. One. And there's one there, but this is not a codly moth. That's different species. That's called leaf roller. But again, it has a species specific pheromone. It will attract the male, in this case, codling moth, uh -huh. and it's either indication of the infestation, which you clearly can see I don't have, right, right, or or the the, the level of infestation, and which in backyard situation you can really remove the codling moth from your from completely your from that area. Yes, and have. Uh, really edible apples. Wonderful, wonderful. So then we also have something else we're going to discuss, but before I tell them what that is, let's go to a different location, okay? All right. Okay, Derek, now I know that, that you know, being on Garden Time, we have heard a lot of talk about stink bugs, and you have some information about them. So let's start with this yellow card. What do I do with that? Oh, it's just sticky card that you can hang underneath the porch light just like that yeah that uh, later in the summer not right now. they right. will not come They're probably starting uh, end of july uh, beginning of august and those stink bugs will be attracted to the light in the evening when you turn the light like 8 30 in, in the evening right. until 10 30 at night on this porch i, I used to catch 20 stink bugs wow. uh, per evening and you can you can put it up there anyway. You can staple it. You can use straight pins. Whatever yes. gets it up there. Mm -hmm. All that needs to be is up there when the lights are on, and then they bing, exactly. right there and stick. Yes. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Yes. And then what are you holding? What's that about? It's it's again different alternative for the sting bugs. We can use it with the pheromones or without. The pheromones can help in, in capturing them. But if you put the strong light behind it or just hang it above your garden, this trap is sticky on both sides. Oh. So the sting bugs don't see it very well, and they go boom. They fly and right. And they're not known for their vision, not right? Known, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they would either way they come at it, and then I would assume if you could you do something with a light again around that to even make it more powerful. Very strong light, and the high the highest point you can hang it, that the better. Uh, about seven feet above the ground or wow. eight feet, it's the best because they like to go up. So they fly upward more. Yes. So. Yes. And the strong light, the, the stronger last light, the better. Well, you know, it's it's always fascinating to me how you can how you can find ways that really don't have anything to do with chemicals at all to attract insects. To even first of all, say if you have them or not. That's right. And then to really trap them, which will be death to them eventually. Anyway. Yeah, and this is especially for the invasive sting bug, the brown mar marmorous right, sting bug right. that you know is bothering us. Well, you know, I know that a lot of us gardeners really do want our gardens to be insect free. Well, at least the ones we don't like, you know, like ladybugs. So for more information and to get all the stuff you need to get to help make your garden as safe as it can be for you and your family and your vegetables, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to AlphaSense website. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate it. Thank you, William.